Hey, beautiful people. It's me, Fly Beautifully. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. You know I'm back with another scammer. This time it's the Social Security Administration, okay? Know that the Social Security Administration will never, ever, 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 ever call you for anything. The Social Security Administration will never call you for anything. And, you see, I hope you like the look. <laughs> I feel like since I'm dealing with fake folks, I might as well go ahead and look, look the part of fake folks too, okay? <laughs> so, without further ado, what I want to go ahead and tell you is for all of those who have been scammed, who have had a loved one scammed, this video is for you. I did this for you. And I'm going to tell you, I had so much joy doing it. So in the future, when you see me with my camouflage on, make sure that you uh, watch the video until its entirety. Because when I have my camouflage on, you know that I am going for a scammer. Okay? This is for all of you all that have been victims of scammers. For your loved ones. Let's get it. Let's go. There's like two parts. The first one is just the, the intro into which they gave me a file number. It's a recording in which I had to call back and and uh, hit uh, press a number or whatever to speak to a live person. Social Security Administration. Oh, one more thing. Um, I attempted to give them a false name. But they had my government name, okay? But I will show you in the end. Please stay to the end because I will prove to you that all the information that they gave me from them as far as their number is none and boy. Let's go ahead and get it in, okay? You have one new message. Friday. Their investigation department, you all. Your call is very important to us. Please stay in the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Please stay in the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. If it sounds, smells, looks, quack. Then what is it? <laughs> boy, boy, boy. They thought I was your neck bone. No, baby, my head does not screw off and on. A little smarter than the average bear. So I'm waiting for an agent. An agent of Social Security Administration to come on board. Apparently, someone has used my social security number. Now think about it. If they knew your information, they could have went ahead and used it. I had time that day. <laughs> yes, I did. to find out what's going on. 
He wants to know if I spoke to an officer or if something was left on my phone, like a case number and so forth. Notice the accent. <laughs> but, okay, they work for the Social Security Administration. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I don't know what shanty they're in. No problem in trying yeah, to scam. Talking, Deborah Allen. Yes. Let me tell you something. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day when I used to party and stuff. And, you know, uh, people, you know, guys would ask for your phone number and, you know, girls would probably give them a, fa a false number or something if they weren't interested, you know, and they give them on their way. Well, I always had an alias. And then at one time I had a friend of mine uh, who we both did accents pretty good. Not that good right now. I'm not that good right now. But um, we both did accents. And she... <laughs> And we would either uh, pretend that we have an accent, you know, we, we, would, we would pull an accent out, a Jamaican accent, or, you know, something Southern, or it's something, you know, something different. She was from Chicago. <laughs> but anyway, with this name, I had a alias that if I went out and party, they asked for my name. So... Y'all ready for this? I was Deborah. Deborah. <laughs> so, I don't know why I just uh, thought of this. But anyway, yeah, that was my name, Deborah. Be like, oh, Deborah, okay, I'm going to call you Deborah. Okay, all right. What's your name, Deborah? Well, uh, first I wanted to know what, what this was about and who I was talking to. Officer Alex Cooper. Officer Alex Cooper from the Social Security, Social Security Administration, y'all. <laughs> Woo, why do people urinate, try to urinate on your leg and convince you that it's raining? Come on, y'all. Yeah. That's his badge number. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I'm gonna cut my name out of there, but y'all see? That's what he knew. He knew uh, by the well, it was my landline that he called. 
So whenever I record these, I'm recording them off of my landline. You speaking to Deborah Allen? You say okay. You say your what's your name and stuff, and I can give you my information once I get your name and 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 and, and so stuff. Speaking to Officer Alex Cooper. Officer Alex Cooper, why don't you stop scamming people? Well, stop scamming, calling, trying to scam people. You cannot get any information out of me, you idiot. Okay? Stop scamming people. You call here every day, idiot. You see how they knew my government name, y'all. I will be blanking that, blanking, um, deleting that out when I edit. But you see how he knew my government name. This is a social security scam call, um, <clears throat> that I get quite often, almost daily. I just deleted over 35 calls off my answering machine today. And when you get these social security calls, what they do is they wanna, um, just like he's doing, he wants to get my social security number. And how do they get your name and stuff? A lot of times it could be a people company selling your information if you're buying stuff online or, um, um, like I say, just third parties, third parties uh, getting your information uh, being sold, you know, anytime you are uh, using your credit cards and things like that, um, and just by, you see how the, you get the, um, what is it, the, um, just uh, a mail in your mailbox, you know. People in your address to get them from real estate. And speaking of, um, like, advertisements and stuff, flyers, not flyers, but, um, you know, like, grocery advertising. I can't even remember. I can't even remember the, the name right now. But um, circulars. That's what I'm referring to. Speaking of that, just today I called a realtor. And let her know, stop sending me information about you selling homes. I'm not interested. But I called her back. I called her to tell her to please take me off of her mailing list. Okay? We got disconnected. And I, you know, I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, you know, you, she heard what I said. Do not mail me anything. Do not call me. She doesn't have my number, I don't think. But do not call me. Anything like that, right? Well, um, she called me back. She says, oh, I, I just wanted, this is so-and-so. I just wanted to make sure that you know that I wasn't, I didn't hang up on you. Uh, we got disconnected. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Well, you know, I was going to be sending out, um, I, I, I do other things besides real estate. And I, um, like if I'm doing a yard sale and stuff like that in the, for the community, in the community, I do things for the community. Um, can I send you information on that? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You cannot. Okay? No, thank you. And I also told her if I did not give you my phone number, if I did not give you my address, please do not send anything to me. And every time people, the realtors send me uh, stuff, I call them and ask to be taken off of their list. Now, I'm going to be nice the first time. That's because that's going to be the only time. I'm going to ask you to not send me any circulars, okay? If you send me circulars after I've spoken with you, you're going to get, you're going to receive whatever wrath I put forth in front of you, you're going to receive it because I asked you nicely and I was very nice and professional about it. Don't send anything to my mailbox. Uh, you know, circular ads and all that, then you have scammers out 
out there that they get your information as well. You know, it doesn't, they don't have your, social, your full social security number, but um, like I say, if you're purchasing things or whatever, they're going to, um, they may have partial information. They can't do anything with that. Please, please, I beg of each and every one of you all listening with an ear shot, do not ever, ever give out your social security number over the phone. Don't do it. And you all have a blessed day. So, fam, you know, that ends that call. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, share, 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 share with any and everyone that you know. You know what Flower Beauty is out here trying to do. Just putting a smile on your face and enjoying doing it. You know, I do ASMRs, uh, lip syncs, my oppressions, mukbangs. Um, what else do I do? Uh, story times, vlogs. A little bit of everything. Because I'm every woman. Because <laughs> I'm every woman. And I always know that when you see the camouflage in the back, know that I'm here to get down and attack some scam baiters. Okay? I'm about to scam bait some scammers. Okay? So. Oh. I didn't show you the last. To, to know what the... Uh, he was talking all of that to me. And let me show you. Let me prove to you how much of a fake this was. 49951. So, beautiful fam, upon so. calling this video, Okay. I'm going to call it again with you all listening. But he said the number was 888-679-0890. Nine, seven. And I'm going to prove to you all that this, too, is a scam. Here we go. Calling from my landline, because this is where they called me from. 1-888-679-0897. Speaker. All the while he was talking to me. This was the number he gave me. Okay. Because One, eight, 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 six, seven, nine, zero, eight, nine. See? The number I dialed. All the time he was on the phone with me. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, y'all. Vehicle Protection Services. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Y'all stay blessed. And I am going to be putting up a, um, just a draft of the uh, reel for my channel. And I think it's maybe about 50 seconds long. But I'm just going to put that draft up there. And I want you all to tell me in the comments below what you think of that. And then I also, because I also have G's son who has the music out. He's in one of my other videos uh, where I put his um, information.
and in one of my other videos, NS, oh, let me see. NSTRXP, NS, and I say trap, but uh, TRXP. But he's going to do the rap or whatever, uh, or the beat and stuff uh, with it. So for now, I just want you all to look at the reel, and it's right after this, and tell me what you think, you know. Um, it is going to be music with it, but it's going to be my intro video for my channel. I'm trying to pop these videos out, and I want to thank you all for uh, sharing my videos and subscribing to my channel. And I just, <sighs> I'll tell you, I'm thrilled, and I thank you so much. Let's keep it going, Sam, because I have so many, so many wonderful things that I want to share with you and just I just want to share with you so please keep on rocking with me okay share like comment all of that good stuff until next time remember don't y'all get scammed now don't get scammed and y'all take care be blessed